Hello Grade 4, I hope you guys all had a great weekend and are looking forward to another week of English. As you guys know, today is Vocabulary in Context. Every Sunday, let's get straight into it. Great, so this is what it looks like guys. For the, those of you that are following in the book, it's on pages 650 to 651. Okay, so politics. Politics is the work of government. Running for office and voting are part of politics. So politics, the activities associated with the governance of a country or area, especially the debate between parties having power. So some of these words this week seem a little bit hard, but they're really not. So for example, I mean, we'll go through this, uh, this lesson in the next Zoom meeting. But for example, blue and red, like in the picture there, could run for control of, of a country or of a school, for example. Let's say it's called a school. And whichever team wins gets to, you know, they get to demand changes and help out where they want, that kind of stuff. So here's kind of like what a voting station works. Most countries have, um, you know, so each person above the age of 18 usually will go in and they'll vote for... Um, which president or which um, party they want in power. Great, so the next word is intelligent. Smart people make intelligent decisions when they vote. Intelligent, having or showing intelligence, especially of a high level. I think you guys all know what that means. Synonym is clever. Some of you guys are intelligent. And there's the synonym. Great, the next word is disorderly. Without a set of rules or laws, society might be disorderly or disorganized. Disorderly, lack, lacking organization, untidy. Good example, guys, is when you guys, when there's no one on duty by the tuck shop and you guys are all just going crazy trying to buy, you know, fingers or whatever you guys want, you know, whatever you guys buy, it is disorderly. For example, that girl in the middle is being disorderly, jumping around, looks like she's throwing stuff. And a synonym could be untidy. Moving on, the next word is approve. People who run for office hope voters will like and approve of them. Approve, to accept as satisfactory. So it's basically just saying yes, agreeing to someone or something, whatever they want to do. The synonym is accept. The next word is polls. Voters go to the polls or election locations to place their votes on election day. Um, polls, the place where votes are cast in an election. So as we were talking about previously, I think on the first slide, um, people above the age of 18 usually in most countries will go to a building and they will cast their vote. So this is the place where they go. It's usually made sure that everyone has a free, it's, you know, it's, it's, there's people there in place that make sure you're not cheating, that each person only gets one vote so that the, the results of the polls um, are fair, you know. And here's an example. If you look underneath, uh, I think it's from America, one year, whatever it was. And it shows people voting for each person. It shows the percentage they, they got, you know. Sanders there is 25% and so on. So there on the right is a picture of someone voting. Another synonym could be survey. Fantastic, guys. This is quite a difficult word to say. Legislature. Legislature. A legislator is a group of elected officials who make laws. Legislator. The legislative body of a country or state. And I use the example there. The Nevada State Legislature passed a law to prohibit dumping of nuclear waste. So prohibit means you're not allowed doing it. So they're not allowing you to dump nuclear waste, waste that can be very harmful to the environment. And here's a picture of what it kind of looks like. I mean, each country, sometimes even states have different locations or buildings. I mean, the picture in the book is very busy. This one's not so busy. Just depends how many people they have in uh, running for as leg who are acting as legislators um, in the state 
but they'll all basically vote on a matter, whether it be, you know, Nevada states who passed a law to probe a dumping of nuclear waste, it can be anything. The next word is amendment. Only in 1920 did an amendment to the Constitution allow all U.S. women to vote. So amendment is a minor change or addition designed to improve a text piece of legislation, etc. So amendment is not a whole new law. It's just going back and changing, a, just tweaking a legislator's, um, something that a legislative group could have, you know, the, for example, the, the previous example was about Nevada prohibiting nuclear waste dumping. Um, amendment could be, they could now you know, impl imply an uh, amendment that makes it nuclear waste and something else or makes a certain amount of nuclear waste. It's kind of an example of amendment. So it's not a complete new piece of legislation. It's improving or changing uh, legislation. Candidates, candidates or people trying to get elected to office sometimes have public debates. Candidates. A person who applies for a job or is nominated for election. So usually this is if you when you're in the workforce and say you want a job as a doctor, you might have to send your your CV or your work experience to the hospital, whoever's in charge of it, to recruitment. And then they would say, you know, they pick someone. For example, the first picture they pick the middle guy, as you can see. You know, it could be in terms of qualification, capability, whatever it is. But in terms of government, you see on the right there, there's Donald Trump and a few others, Bernie Sanders, and they are candidates for the election. And then obviously Trump won. And yeah, so it's applicants is the synonym. Next word is informed. Informed voters have learned about issues in order to decide how they will vote. Informed, having or showing knowledge of a subject or situation. So when you're when you're voting for for someone to be president or to run the country, you want to know if they're you know good, if you want to know or bad or what they've done and you know how they can help. So you want to be well informed. So there's just a picture of stay informed, what's happening around the world, and a synonym is knowledgeable. The last word is denied. People should not be denied or refused meetings with their elected officials. Denied. Refuse to give something requested or desired to someone. Example of this would be during break times, you guys are usually or should be denied to go upstairs. All students have to be downstairs, usually either in the gym or by the tuck shop. Denied. And a synonym is refuse. Great, guys. So some of the words might have been a little bit tricky this week. But as I said, we'll go through it briefly in our next Zoom meeting. Other than that, I hope you guys are all well and having a great day. And I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Until then.